Hi, this is Johnny Timmons with Marine Max in Houston, Texas. Today we're going to do a quick walkthrough in our 2023 Aviar 36. So without further ado, hop on board. Hey, we're on the back of the 36 Aviara. So just going to show you real quick. Uh, we did this boat with triple uh, Verado 300s. Uh, this is an in-stock boat, so it's available for immediate delivery. Uh, we do have the option to do an inboard outboard version uh, with the Ilmore package. So that is available as well. Uh, above me, we've got a retractable sunshade. Uh, push a button, in or out. We can actually run this one uh, at some speeds. Um, so it's a little nicer than the sure shade feature. This is a major upgrade over the sure shade uh, option. Uh, cool touch seats. These are fantastic. Middle of the summer, uh, it can be 100 degrees outside. Put your hands in here. Uh, these, these seats will stay below 80 degrees. It's really, really nice option. We do have the bar stool features that are right here. We'll just pop those up. It just gives you a place to lounge if we want to sit up there while we're entertaining on the water uh, or just change up the dynamics of the seating arrangement. Then obviously back here, we've got storage underneath both of these. This is wet storage. Uh, your outboard flush is located in here. It's a great place to store shoes, extra towels, things like that. You can drop this back down and then I'll just pick this up. You'll hear it click in and now we've got uh, the recliner set up. I'm gonna open this little compartment right here. And we're always trying to figure out what do we do with our fenders? They actually figured it out. You drop your fenders in right here. They even went so far as this boat has the fender clips. The fender clips even drop in the little hole right there. So everything's nice and organized. Four fenders for everywhere you go boating for the entire weekend. Now we're in our little wet bar area. So I'm gonna pop this up. And I'm gonna pop this one up. Now we've got our grill open. Uh, it's got a safety feature right there. That way, in case you forget to turn it off, it will. We got our refrigerator that sits right here. I'm gonna open this last one up right here and look at all this great storage you've got for bottle storage, whatever else you wanna use. Everybody loves this. If you wanna chill three bottles of wine, Drop your three bottles in right there. Put your ice on top of it. It's gonna self drain. Keep them nice and chilled throughout the day. Close this back down. And then we've got a really, really nice Cordova cooler that fits right in this compartment right here. They did a nice job branding the Aviar on top of it. Everybody always asks, what is this right here? Well, believe it or not, it's actually your trash can. You just drop in the little flip right there and then drop in what you need. And you have access back up underneath here to pull the trash can. If you want to, you can actually drop another cooler in right here. Great storage. And you've got storage all the way around the back. I'm not gonna open it up because we're short on time, but because we have the outboards, if we drop, uh, pick up the uh, engine room, this is all wide open storage back here. If you wanted to put a, a water lily, whatever you want to store back there, you can absolutely do it. And you'll notice as we're walking around, sea deck everywhere on the boat. Uh, it's really nice, soft on your feet, super easy to take care of and maintain. Join me up here on the helm real quick. Uh, drop your cell phone in right there, it'll charge. We've got our SIMRAD screen for all of our Mercury controls. This is a joystick powered boat, so that means your autopilot's built in. You've got the skyhook feature, all the things that we've come accustomed to. SIMRAD chart plotter, it's got a sounder built in. And then this screen right here, this is gonna operate everything Aviar. So we can, uh, all of our lighting's right here, all of our stereo, the stereo on this boat is Eclipse. Stereo system, I think we've got two 11 inch subwoofers, two amps. There's about 10 speakers throughout the boat. Really, really high end, sounds fantastic. Come back over here. This is all of our switching. If we want to bring our sunshade in or windless, all that stuff. Everything's at the touch of a finger. Now, if there is something that we need and we're going to need it regularly, like a horn or any of your lighting, uh, they did a nice job of keeping it up here. Just in case we didn't have all, all of our electronics on, you can operate it right here. Oh, second favorite feature. I got to show you this. So down here, uh, you've got a couple of cup holders. I'm gonna try and get out of the way. These are chilled cup holders. So once we turn those cup holders on, you throw a bottle of water in there. An hour later, your bottle of water is still holding at 50 degrees. It's fantastic. Uh, I'm one of those guys that leave cups and bottles of water and cup holders all the time, so it works out great for me. Hey, it's Johnny again. I'm gonna take you inside the uh, cabin on this 36 Aviar. So we'll give it a quick little pull of the latch. There's a magnet that's gonna hold that door open. Nice, easy three steps down. And as soon as we come in, I'll just hit this right off the bat. This is our head. 
Now we're in the head of the 36 Aviara. This is a wet head, uh, it's nice, it works, it's functional. The shower actually picks up and you can attach it and then you take a quick shower. Everything's gonna drain overboard. And now in the fun part, now we're in the cabin of the 36. You notice we've got a stereo right here. We've got a clip sound bar. Uh, we've got some natural lighting comes up right here. We've got our panel right here to do all of our on off switching, AC, DC, operator generator. Plenty of storage, uh, and the configuration right here is actually kind of unique. You'll notice there's a cushion directly behind me. This cushion right here is actually going to fill in this area right here. Uh, just gives us a little bit more berth space. Now on a day trip, and we're not going to be overnighting, we can just pick this up right here. You'll hear it click. Oh, there it goes. And now we've got a little recliner that's set up if we want to head back and watch TV. Hey, it's Johnny again. Uh, lastly, we're going to hit the bow area of this boat. I'll talk about a couple of other items that are on it. Uh, boat does have underwater lights. Uh, we do have a bow and a stern cover, so we can cover this area right here. We can cover just the back. It's a really, really nice cover. Uh, not necessarily a trailer and cover, but the nice thing is you can put the cover on this boat in the marina, and it's got little cutouts for your cleat. So you can have the boat tied up in the marina with a cover on. They do a really nice job with that. Again, more cool touch seating up here, eight cup holders, clip speakers. We've got a remote right back over there on the port side for uh, the stereo. And then directly underneath me here is the windlass. Um, you can power that up uh, either here off the remote or you can go to the helm and you can operate it there. Again, stop by and see us at Marine Max in Houston. Uh, we're about 20 minutes south of downtown in Seabrook, Texas, 281-830-6336. This is the 2023 36 Aviar.